It's been a long time coming to get this traffic flow on the new Mario M. Cuomo Bridge, a nearly $4 billion bridge more than five years in the making. Governor Andrew Cuomo celebrated the completion of the structure's second span Friday, but shortly after, plans for the full opening of the bridge halted over safety concerns, fears that the adjacent to old Tappan Zee Bridge could collapse on it. However, the timing of the bridge opening has been called into question. This snafu comes just days before the Democratic primary. Is it just coincidence that it opens less than a week before the election um, at a time when he's under such attack for having done such a poor job of infrastructure? Cuomo fired back Sunday. In political silly, silly season, people <laughs> can say anything. That's the point about the world is flat. You know, they'll say whatever they have to say. A letter obtained by the New York Times raises questions whether the Cuomo administration was offering incentives to get the job done closer to the primary. The letter, written by an official with the Thruway Authority, directs Tappan Zee Constructors, TZC, to complete the work so the bridge could open August 24th. A Thruway Authority official blames the timing on weather and says the contract contains no incentive clauses, also saying in a statement, I did so without advising or in consultation with anyone in the governor's office. The Thruway Authority announced last night the old Tappan Zee Bridge has been deemed stable. Therefore, as you can see behind me, the eastbound span of this bridge is open this morning. We're live in Tarrytown, New York. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Jenna, thank you.